What up family, 360 Booth Operator Director right here tuning in to make sure you guys have the right information. Not today, Saturday, Saturday morning, but later on tonight, the freaks come, no, the 360 Booth Directors come out at night. That's for damn sure. So I'm gonna show you guys how to synchronize your phone and your iPad. That way they're communicating properly with one another. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now here we are on my dashboard. This is my TouchPix dashboard. We're gonna activate this event here on the top. The way we're going to activate it is first, we're gonna go ahead and activate it using the phone. We're gonna be using to record. This is if you're using an iPhone. I've been using an iPhone from the jump. So let me go ahead and go on my laptop here and select QR code. And now I'm gonna go onto my TouchPix app boom hit activate event and then i'm going to hit activate right here at the bottom i've shown you guys this in the past but i'm just doing this again for all the newbies all the new 360 booth operators welcome on board all right so that's taking place we're going to let it do its thing for a little bit okay then it is active one thing i just noticed i did add a template to this so there should be a template showing on here and as you guys can see there's absolutely no template so let's go ahead and troubleshoot together um, interesting. So let's go back to the dashboard here. Go to events. And I thought I entered an overlay, and you guys can see that there is an overlay right here, but it's just not showing on my phone. See, what's the deal? Let's see what the deal is. Okay, so there actually, yeah, there's no, uh, there's no image here. And if this has happened to you guys in the past, uh, let's work this out. So I'm going to go ahead and Delete that and hit OK. Okay. Now let's go back into the dashboard. Let's go to events actually. Let's go to events. This actually happened to a, a few of our operators and actually happened to a caller that I was on the phone with yesterday. Um, and so this is what you want to do, okay? This is the very first time it happens to me. Uh, but I've seen plenty of videos where I become more knowledgeable because of all of my research. So let's go back to the overlay section. So we're gonna go, we're, we open up that same event and we're gonna go to a green consent because we want to enter a template and we wanna make sure it's recorded on there. So before you guys go to your event, make sure you guys circle back to the event and check the overlay and make sure that it's actually showing the overlay you made for the client. Wow, I'm glad this happened right now. Everything's you know, designed and, and everything happens for a particular reason. Uh, and I think the, the universe just works in that way. And when you open up your heart, because you open up your heart, your heart is open. You're open to, um, you become like a, like a magnet with a different type of polarity. And this allows you, oh, by the way, I, cho I chose template number five. And this, op this opens up opportunities and, and uh, it kind of aligns you with the universe to help out other people and raise their vibration. So I went to downloads. I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, an overlay here. Let's just go ahead and select any overlay that's available. Let me see if this is, yep, this is, this is one we can use right now. So I'm gonna double click it and then I'm going to go to uh, uh, select it right here. I'm just gonna click on it and it shows right here, that's awesome. Let me go to add template. Oh, that is so cool, I'm glad this happened. I'm glad I can do this here uh, with you guys here today on this beautiful Saturday uh, of the time recording of this video. I said that thing completely wrong, but don't nobody care. I'm gonna go to a dashboard right here. And I'm gonna go back to my events and let's see. Okay, so it shows an overlay now. Let's go ahead and click on this overlay just to make sure that it's okay so now it's showing and because my event is already opened right i already opened it i already activated it on my phone the next thing you want to do is you want to grab your phone and then you want to go into this little section here on the very top left and we're going to go to refresh event okay so if you change the overlay or the mp3 song you want to hit refresh and bam whatever that was uh so now it's showing and I also realized that my phone that I'm using to record is showing a mirror version uh, of that. So that is interesting. Actually, this is incorrect. 
Oh, hey guys, I just came across some new information. So see how this is uh, mirrored? It's not my actual phone that I'm using to record, but the actual overlay on the phone. Interesting, maybe I did something wrong. Let's go, let's check that out. Let's go into the event again. Eventually, I'm gonna need a camera person. So if you guys are interested in making about, you know, $16 an hour, um, I, and you live in the San Bernardino area, you guys could probably be my camera person and follow me around throughout my day and just record the life of a 360 booth operator. All right, let's go ahead and go to the manage section right here and see what the heck happened. This video was supposed to be like three minutes, uh, but I think this is packed with, oh, look at that. Mirror overlay preview, bam. I forgot to uncheck that. And I know I made like three videos always telling you guys, make sure you disable this. So now it's disabled, okay? We found out together. Let's go ahead and hit agree because we agree to be 360 Booth family for the rest of our entire lives. Uh, all right, so we already have our template. So now I'm just gonna go to the event here. Okay, it's there. And what do we do next, guys? Whenever we make a change in our dashboard on TouchPix, look at 1111. I just wanna take a minute to say, mom, I miss you, I love you. I know you're watching over us. And we are so blessed as individuals and may the Lord continue just to put us on a righteous path and we continue fighting the good fight. All right, baby, let's go. Uh, so touch picks and then I'm going to go to refresh right here. Refresh event and let's see if it applies those changes that we just made. Let's see, baby. Yeah, we rocking now. Okay, so that's completed. And the next thing we want to do, guys, is we want to activate our iPad as a sharing station, okay? So I'm going to hit the home button on my iPad. Make sure your iPad is connected to either your mobile hotspot or the client's Wi-Fi, all right? And then we're going to open up touch picks. Let's go, let's go find touch picks right there. Then we're going to exit this gallery. This is the, uh, an older event, so I'm going to exit the gallery by hitting... Um, the X right up here and then going to this little icon on the left side and hit exit sharing station exit sharing station it's going to exit and then we're going to go back over here and we're going to go um right here qr code let's go ahead and uh, pull up that qr code and we're going to activate our sharing station okay so we're going to activate sharing station you see that right there boom okay now let's go ahead and scan that code let me see if i can do this i try using a little tripod because i'm limited on let me see here. Is it gonna pick it up? Do I need to get, okay, cool. So I scanned the QR code with my iPad and now my iPad is setting up the event. Okay, now when you guys are already at this step right here, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go to your iPad gallery. I don't know anyone in Vegas right now. Uh, yeah, forget it. You wanna go to gallery? And then on the top left, you see an R, go ahead and select that R and you're gonna activate this device as a receiver. So activate receiver. And now it's activated as a receiver, okay? The next thing you wanna do is you wanna come over to your phone that you're using to record. And you wanna go to gallery. Come on, guys. Okay, we're gonna go to gallery on our phone right here. And then we're gonna activate this as a sender. So we hit the S right here and we're gonna activate sender. And then since we already programmed the iPad to be a receiver, it's gonna acknowledge and recognize that there's the iPad. So I'm gonna go ahead and select iPad. And now it says success connected. You can leave the gallery screen. All files will be, so you see the S, you want it to be green. I'm coming over to the iPad now. Now the R is green. So this means that they are now synced to one another. All right, so let's go ahead and record a very quick video. I'm just gonna move it right here so we can activate the motion. Countdown, three, two, one. Guys, really quick, I forgot to mention, make sure your iPhone and your iPad display is uh, set to staying on the entire time. That way they don't actually turn off and then you have to resync everything again, okay? Thank you guys for your beautiful patience. <laughs> Patience is everything in this life, right? It's like time is a key ingredient to healing, to success, 
to mastery, to, to wisdom, just key is the key. No, key is the key. No, that didn't make any sense. Man, I, I sorry guys, I tried to inspire you, but I kind of fell flat right there. <laughs> okay, cool, so it shows the video. That's your boy, that's your 360 booth operator director right there, so we're gonna go to next, right? And it's gonna thank me, and then on the um, iPad, we should be getting the video within like 30 seconds or less, depending on your connectivity level. I have this, oh, you know what? So there it is, it's right there, okay? If it's taking too long and it's not showing, make sure you guys come over to this side and go and select online sync, like that, okay? Online sync, all files uploaded to online gallery will now be downloaded, okay? So don't forget that step, guys. Go to the online sync button there, and that's how you do it. All right, I hope this helped you guys, and I'm sure it did, I mean, definitely, and um, go out there and have a great time. Peace. All right, I actually almost forgot. I'm gonna show you guys how to close your event, okay? So your, your uh, event closes after you are done, and it's simp uh, very simple. You pull up your event, right, and you hit the QR code, and let me just go back because I like, I try to break this down as best as possible, and that's why these videos end up being nice and lengthy, um, because I try to really show you guys step by step. So I'm gonna hit the QR code again right here, and wait for that QR code to pop up. Where is it at? Why is it not pop? There it is. And then on the phone, oh, thank goodness for the temper glass and the case. As an iPhone repair technician, I always tell the client, get the temper glass and the case. It's only $10 a piece. We're gonna go to um, close event. Yes, and then scan the QR code. Okay, now it's closing the event. And for the iPad, you don't need to do that. For the iPad, all you gotta do is you go to the online sync right here and you wait for the X to pop up. Once that X pops up, it's gonna take you here. And then we're gonna to go to exit sharing, iPad sharing station like that. We're gonna exit and then exit sharing station. Okay, so we exit it on our phone by scanning the QR code and the iPad. And now I'm gonna to go to dashboard right here and it should say on the very top of the event that we just finished wrapping up, it should say active, but it should say finished, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh up here and it, it should say uh, finished, not active. Unless I didn't hit, oh, continue. I forgot to hit, hit continue on my phone. Now let's go ahead and hit refresh up here. Refresh. Now it shows finished. All right, there you have it. <laughs>